Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today my topic is dial-up and DSL, two of the last mile technologies. The last mile refers to the segment or portion between local communication switching facility and customer premises such as home and business buildings. The last mile is also called the first mile. I used to commute when I was a graduate student in Atlanta, Georgia many years ago. First, I rode my bicycle to the bus station close to my home. Then I took a bus for about 30 minutes. I got off at the bus stop on campus and then I walked for several minutes to my classroom. In terms of networking, the first mile refers to the distance from my home to the bus station and the last mile is the distance from the bus stop on campus to my classroom. In between is the network backbone. When I returned home after class, the first mile was from my classroom to the bus stop on campus and the last mile was the segment from the bus station to my home. Thus, the definition of the last mile and the first mile is only relative to what direction I go. The last mile and the first mile mean the same thing in the networking field and we simply use the last mile. Just a few words of my commuting experience. In the first week, my bicycle was stolen. Thus, my last mile transportation for next two years was basically my two legs. Last mile technologies refer to any telecommunication methods, devices, and media that carry signals over the last mile. Taking media as an example, the network backbone uses fiber optics but the last mile may still use copper wires. Thus, the last mile is typically the speed bottleneck. Last mile technologies include dial-up, DSL, keyboard modem, broadband over power line, WiMAX, fiber optics, cellular, and satellite. Dial-up is very old technology which was commonly used in the 1990s. What you need is dial-up modem and a telephone number. When you dial up to the internet, it sounds like this. The maximum speed of a dial-up connection is about 56 kilobits per second. It is very slow and you cannot use your telephone and the internet at the same time. But you were happy because you got the internet. Even now in 2018, the dial-up is still used by many users, especially those in remote areas and rednecks in the USA. Digital Subscribe Line or DSL is another last mile technology that transmits data faster over traditional PSTN lines. At home, DSL uses existing telephone line and DSL modem. DSL modem separates analog signal of your telephone from digital signals of your computer. Thus, DSL does not interfere with normal telephone calls on the telephone line and it does not require dialing a telephone number to initiate a connection. It is always on.
A DSL modem is also used for communicating with a local switching facility. The device at a local switching facility which communicates with the DSL modem is called Digital Subscribe Line Access Multiplexer or DSLAM. DSLAM is connected directly to the Internet. There are many types of DSL, here I introduce four. Asymmetric DSL or ADSL typically provides a faster speed in the downstream direction than the upstream direction. That's why it is called asymmetric. It is typically used by home users. Symmetrical DSL or SDSL is used typically by business for services such as video conferencing which need significant bandwidth both upstream and downstream. DSL typically available to business also include high bit rate DSL or HDSL and a very high bit rate DSL or VDSL. Here I try to skip the maximum throughput for each type. The reason is that they depend on many factors such as different DSL versions in each type, different service providers, and the distance from the customer premises to their local switching facilities. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.